is a kayafina? What? We've got a long list of what a kayafina actually should be, but I'm not sure if I follow that list all the time. As a kayafina, I believe our main role is to be present, to be encouraging, to um, be consistent, to follow through with what I say, and just let them know that I'm here regardless. Being present is a really big thing with me. Well, for me, um, when I first started doing Takura, which was early last year, I was still enrolled in my other school, so I was doing it through correspondence. So I didn't have a kaimanaki before, but halfway through this year when I started having one, it really helped like, flip to switch with my work. The, the position, the role of the position is to create academic and pastoral support for our students, TK300 students, but it's way more than that. I always say um, the kayafinas are like the aunties and the teachers are like the mums, and so sometimes the kids will tell the kayafinas things that they may not tell the subject teacher. Well, I, I, I really felt that um, with the kayafinas, they actually cared about you personally. Like, if I wasn't turning in work or doing work for a few days, I'd get reached out and be like, how are you doing, how are you feeling? Um, do you need any help with your work? Is everything okay? You know, it was the first time that I felt that teachers actually personally cared about the students. You know, it's good to know that you have that moral and personal support there, and always someone that you can reach out to and know that they're going to care about what you have to say and you know what you need help with and stuff. So we're the advocates for the students, as well as the um, conduit between the kaimanakis, the kaiako, and the student, as well as the whānau too. Mm. So we have a, a quite all-encompassing role because we're talking with subject teachers, kaimanaki, parents, caregivers. It's a huge role as well as our students. Yeah, I found it very different knowing teachers in Takura than teachers in normal school because the teachers in Takura seem to like actually know about you personally as well as your schoolwork and so they'll ask me about how like my dancing's going or like how other things that I've told them a really long time ago are going and I find that really nice that they remember things about you. It helps me to like get stuff done and feel like I actually had teachers like that were looking out for me and I also started around that time coming to the hub and I met like Sue and Taki and I was really nervous at first because I didn't know anyone but as soon as I came I felt really welcomed and they were like they really care about you and want to help you through your schoolwork and all of that. Another thing is um I like to remove any bias, so when we come in we see them eye to eye. That's quite critical in terms of the learning process because a lot of our students have experienced bias. We like to bring a safe space. Safety is really important. If they don't feel safe, they're not going to feel to, to give it in any way. And we can feel it when it's not safe. I, I always felt like from day one you had the support of your teachers, you know, they, they always made it very clear that they were there for you to help at any time you needed it and you know there was never that bit of well I'm not sure if this teacher is really nice or, or if they're going to be someone that I work with well they were always very encouraging and including and uh, supportive people. When uh, we came together we actually had a discussion as a class you know what happened to you when you're back at face to face so some students have been bullied by teachers by even principals by other students and parents, and parents. So we try and, and we also advocate for students, student rights. So if they're, if they're having any bullying or perceived bullying by teachers or you know if teachers aren't getting back to them, we let them know how we can help. Because for a lot of our students, even just kind of emailing teachers back can be quite you know, anxiety driven and confronting. So we're kind of teaching them those, some of those adulting lessons of like, you know, opening your bills kind of thing. Like, yes. Just do it. If you can't have a relationship with someone on a phone and you can't see their face, then you can't have a relationship with a person at all. If our teachers are not able to communicate with, it, with on a phone, just whether you like it or not, students can pick that up. They can pick up any sense of feeling like, oh, you're just another student or whatever. So um, we use my kōrōwai. Um, every student has my kōrōwai. What's good about that is still our students, you know, go through these parts about like career pathways, and there's one called like um, chicken a reflection. And at the beginning, some of our students thought, oh, we have to do like a paragraph of writing. Or, so it's, it's really kind of the non-academic chicken. I find my Kurawai very like interesting as a student using it because you there's like a lot of sections in it, like 
about your well-being and things like that. So it feels really personal, some of the information there, and it's really nice to have people to share that kind of thing with that you know you can trust. So I really enjoy using that a lot. Well, I don't use it all the time, but when I do use it, I think it's actually very useful. I'm not very too good with emotions uh, for myself, so filling up information on myself was a bit difficult, but they were very supportive, very helpful. Filling it out was, I wouldn't say emotional, but a little eye-opening to who I really was. So it's really important just to let them know that those things are important to us and we're here. This is Leilani. She will connect with external people to try and make sure that their well-being is cared for in some way. It could be an organisation ex external that needs to be involved. It could be someone on staff who, who actually looks after the counselling or whatever it is. So the sensitive issues, we make sure that they are, that they are um, kept, uh, cared for. A face-to-face -face school could learn to help the teachers interact and learn more about their students individually. Because mainly when you're in a face-to-face -face school, they don't really address you, they address everyone on a, like, a public matter. They don't really settle things. I know when I was down in Wellington, when something happened, like abuse or anything, that, that didn't really get fixed or anything. But here they're like, when they look one-on-one, -on -one, every time, they know what's happening, they know what's going on, and they help to the best of their ability, which is really